The audience comes last. How can that be? Well, the audience doesn't know what they want. The audience only knows what's come before. Every artist have a story, whether you're the smallest artist or the biggest artist. What will define you is your preparation. The great Nipsey Hussle once said, luck is just being prepared at all times, so when the door opens, you're ready. This is my journey. You think I'm playing? Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Dagger, aka Red Robe. How y'all doing, man? Hope y'all doing great. Hope y'all had a great holiday weekend. I had an okay holiday weekend myself. Chilled with family, shared some holiday love, and you know, had a good time. Um, you know, we have a lot going on around the world. Um, you know, a lot of things that could really make us wanna just, you know, sit and think about our own life right now but there's not much we can do but just pray for the world man <laughs> but anyways man hope you had a great 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 uh holiday weekend i had a great holiday weekend myself but it's back to work back to making videos back to talking about great things here on the channel all right so today i got a great video for you today uh, i think this video might find interest with artists and creators and just people who are making and creating things this is a perspective that was given by none other than the great rick rubin and he did a 60 minute interview and he said something about how being a creator uh, being a musician an artist the audience comes last and when he said that, I was like, the audience comes last? How is that? Anyways, if you don't know who Rick Rubin is, uh, let him tell you himself. Do you play instruments? Barely. Do you know how to work a soundboard? No. I have no technical ability. And I know nothing about music. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's who he is. And if you don't know what he does, <laughs> let him tell you himself confidence that I have in my taste and my ability to express what I feel has proven helpful for artists. So what are you being paid for? So anyways, I like to say Rick Rubin is um, a, a music guru. You know, I think his it's just his perspective, really. I can't teach you, but I can help you explore yourself. And this perspective, um, of basically saying that the audience comes last is something to think about. And um, uh, I'm gonna let him explain it himself and let you listen exactly what he means when he says the audience comes last. And then I'm gonna give you, you know, my perspective on what I think about it. All right, check this out right here. The audience comes last. How can that be? Well, the audience doesn't know what they want. The audience only knows what's come before. Isn't the whole music business built around trying to figure out what somebody likes? Maybe for someone else it is, but it's not for me. It undermines the purity of the project. Now, when we as artists go into the studio, a lot of times like we tend to go in and start writing and thinking and producing thinking, oh, I can't wait for this person to hear this. I can't wait to play this. This is a great perspective. Go in and not think about anybody. You know, the audience doesn't know what they want until they hear it. That's a great perspective. I think I like that perspective a lot. Rick Rubin, you know, whatever he's done in the past have worked. It seemed like he has a great formula. I, for one, think he's had the great understanding of the, the artist. I think he understands the artist better than anybody that I've seen out there. I'm giving cues to look for in yourself because it all has to do with the artist. I like to think that he's just a music guru that is able to go into the artist's minds in some way, some shape or form, go into the artist's minds and help them to be the best 
them that they can be. So his perspective is is is, is important and has worked for artists. I mean, he's he's worked with Jay Z. Yeah, maybe we start a cappella. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Worked with um the Beastie Boys. Um, who else has he worked with? Uh, Public Enemy. Rick, Rick Rubin is one of the pillar stones of hip hop. You know, just to name a few, and the whole entire music industry. So, you know, the way he does his thing, and the way he is just able to spiritually, because... Is he sleep or awake or what? If he says he's not a producer. Do you play instruments? Barely. So, how is he able to not able to play any instruments? Oh, pfft. Know how to work any equipment? Know how to work a soundboard? No. Oh, pfft. But he's able to help artists create their best work. So this is the great perspective for artists to look into. Don't worry about the audience. The audience comes last. You know what I mean? Go in the studio, create your best work, tap into your mind. Don't worry about what's going on outside the studio. It's a distraction. And when you're done with all the work and everything that you've put together in the studio, you present it to the people and they, then they will choose what they like and what they don't like. Some people are going to like some things, some, some people are going to not like some things. But th at the end of the day, you don't worry about them until the product is finished. And I, I like that. You know what I mean? So this is something great to, for artists to think about going into the new year, when you're going into the studio to create your music and to create your beats and everything. Don't worry too much about the audience. The audience comes last. See what I'm saying? Just go in, make your music and make your songs and present it whenever it's ready. You know what I mean? All right, that's my video for today. I wanna thank y'all for tapping in and um, I wanna wish y'all a uh, new year because the new year is right coming up and I'll see y'all in 2024. Much love, peace, and one love.